안녕하세요. 제 이름은 김지안입니다. Hi, my name is Ji Han Kim, as I said in Korean. And today I'm going to do a presentation about South Korea. So thank you so much for coming here today and let me, pre let me start my presentation. Uh, this is Korea, South Korea's national flag. So the white base represents pure and um, peace. And this one represents sky, land, water, and fire. So who has heard of yin and yang before? Mm -hmm. And can anyone tell me what yin and yang is? No. So yin is kind of cold, dark, and blue, and moon, while yang represents warm, hot, and sun. So they're very opposite in many ways, but a uh, long time before in South Korea, in Korea, we believed that the balance of yin and yang work, work everything in the world. So in other words, everything in the world is worked by the force of the balance of yin and yang. So the reason why this is sky, land, water, and fire is because they are the form of yin and yang's change. So do, does anyone, everyone get it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can anyone tell me where Korea is? Yes? Yes. Oh, sweet. Okay. It's there. Yeah. So this is your oh. Korean candy. I get that. Oh, I love this stuff. And, so um, I have to say Riley's pretty smart because I ask this question to many kids, but interestingly, some of them said Korea is somewhere in Europe. <laughs> so I said, let me tell you where, South, where Korea is. So you know that Korea is somewhere in Asia, so Korea is between China and Japan right here. Uh, these are the maps of Korea. So this is the map of the entire part of Korea, and this is only south part of Korea, which is South Korea that I am from. There is a Korean saying, old saying, that says small pepper is spicy. So when I mean small pepper is spicy, I mean that um, although small pepper is, looks like very tiny and doesn't look like a big deal, but it has really strong and spicy taste. So I put this in this slide because I wanted to say that although South Korea is such a small country, we have this huge potential and huge influence to the world. Um, long, well, since until now, we compare our the entire Korea as tiger because Korean map looks like tiger lying in the entire part of Korea and also we um, compared our strong spirit as tiger spirit. And this is Korean national flower called Mugunghwa and this is the picture of Mugunghwa in covering the entire part of stuff, entire part of Korea. So Korea as you guys know, Korea is separated into North Korea and South Korea. And we had Korean War in 1950, June 25th through 1953, July 27th. So we are still in true separation and we have this 38th parallel that is dividing North and South Korea. Um, until now, we have separated families, so special occasions like Korean national holidays, thanks, Korean Thanksgiving, and Korean New Year's Day. Um, some South Korean separated families go to North Korea and they get the chance to find their separated families. So um, I think it's very sad for me to watch them getting together because um, although they get like they get to meet each other, they know that they have to be separated again. So it's kind of sad to see them getting back together. And language. So when I went to EMS, Elizabeth Middle School, to have informal conversation about South Korea, some kids asked me whether or not Korea, 
North and South Korea have same language. So before we had Korean War in 1950, we were same country. So although the country is divided, that doesn't mean we our language is divided. So we still have same language, but some words are different. But basically, we have same language. So, Seoul is the capital of South Korea, and Ulsan is like the very low part of South Korea. So if you see this picture, Seoul is like the very upper part of South Korea, and Ulsan is like the very low part of South Korea. I lived in Ulsan like in my entire life, 15 years, but recently, right before I came to America, I, went, I moved to Seoul, and I lived there for four months. Um, but since South Korea is such a small country, you can ride a bus to Ulsan to Seoul, and it only takes about four and a half hours. It's almost like across the country. And if you ride train, it takes about five to six hours. And who knows what KTX is? Is that like the bullet train? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> And KTX is very fast train, so it only takes about two hours if you want to like travel Ulsan to Seoul or Seoul to Ulsan. And if you ride airplane, it only takes about 30 minutes. So um, Ulsan, when I lived in Ulsan, I saw many adults going to Seoul for business in the morning and then come back home at night because it's very small distance. It only takes about 30 minutes if you ride train, I mean airplane. So, Korea has very similar weather, uh, just like Colorado. And we have four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And spring is March through May. And these are the pictures of spring in Korea. So we have this very beautiful island called Jeju Island. And Jeju Island is very famous for its grape blossoms. So there are lots of Koreans who just go to Jeju Island just to see grape blossoms in summer, I mean in, in spring. And for Cydia, we have lots of for Cydia in South Korea, so we even say spring is coming when we see for Cydia. And um, every year in spring, we have cherry blossoms festivals, and it's very huge festivals. So wherever you go in South Korea, you can enjoy cherry blossoms festivals. And Cosmos is personally my favorite flower. So in spring, we have this huge national holiday called Seolat, and I'm going to explain it to you later. But Seolat is Korean New Year's Day, and my family go to the place where my grandfather is buried. And Cosmos are usually planted on the side of the road, so when I, while I go to the place where my grandfather is buried, I can see lots of cosmos. So cosmos is not only representing spring to me, but also representing my grandfather. So it's personally my favorite cosmos. And for, personally, my favorite flowers. And if you guys have any questions, please free, feel free to interrupt me and ask questions. Um, summer is June through August. Uh, there is a very famous uh, beach called Heyunde in South Korea. And as I said, I lived in Ulsan in my whole life, like 15 years. And right next to Ulsan, there is a city called Busan. And Heyunde is placed in Busan. And I can say that Busan become, became very like renowned to everybody because of this Heyoon Day. We, all, we even have a movie called Heyoon Day and that is made like last year. So I, I would say it's not a perfect place to swim in summer because there are lots of people, like lots of crowd in Heyoon Day. But this is the place that you have to go if you went to South Korea. And this is the daytime of Heyoon Day and this is the night time of Heyoon Day. Um, as I said, we have this beautiful island called Jeju Do. Uh, and since it's island, you have to go in summer to enjoy the beauty of island. And this is like 
um, one of the most famous snack for summer in South Korea. So how you make this is you put um, crushed ice cube on the base and put lots of um, fruits and some jelly and if you want some rice cake and put chocolate syrup or strawberry syrup on the top. And this is the very this is like the most important part. You have to put sweet red bean on the top. That is why we call this pop bean soup. And on the top, if you put a little bit of soft ice cream, then it makes it perfect. So <laughs> although okay, now I want pop bean soup. So, <laughs> so uh, it gets really hot in summer, so if you um, eat this as like snack, then you get like cool and like chill. So it's very good snack for summer. And we call this samgyetang, and that is Korean chicken soup. So in summer, it gets really hot, so you lose your energy. But we want our energy back, so by eating samgyetang Korean chicken soup, we get our energy back. So it's kind of Korean tradition to eat samgyetang in summer. 